uh, on that Weaver. Aquino is on the Storm Spirit like he was last game. Uh, Faker is on the Rubik. Enjoy is sitting on the Bristleback. And last but not ne uh, last but not least, we've got Ilmatic on the Abaddon. And uh, already we see that Myth, they've all rotated into top. See if, trying to see if they can uh, find a pick off. I've got to say, I hope that uh, Myth uses the Miranda's ulti when it's up aggressively and not only defensively. And as Rithy can walk straight into it, takes one stun, takes a second stun. This is a train line of kills, and they will pick up a very fast and early kill first spot in the game. But luckily, Weaver doesn't lose anything. They just give away a little bit of first blood, go to that Versace, and Juppie's going to happily pick that up and pick up his boots. Yeah, I mean, that certainly does help him a lot. And a Visage with an early boots also helps because. You have your, your Grave Chill, which is already um, speed stolen. You can use it to, for example, bot body block or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it certainly does help them. Uh, all, extra gold is always nice, particularly on the supports in the early game. And now might be a little bit of initiation coming down in the jungle. They've spotted out Doom. They've got heroes here. They've got some snot up and running. That's going to start stacking up in the negative armor. Do they have the follow-up support? Abaddon's coming on here. He's got a shield if they want to go any further. Lift comes up. Mescal, he's in a trouble. He's been blocked from all over the court. He's not going to be able to get out of Joppy. He stands and watches as his carry gets brutally destroyed in their own jungle. And, well, Herzy, they're going to be happy about picking up their own capitalization kill. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Uh, see, the thing is, I think that is a bigger kill than what they got in the Weaver. I, have no right. I, I know that the Weaver was like a first blood kill, but this means that... Oh, actually, no, never mind. And completely ignore me. Mescal just teleported back in. I was going to say, he was going to miss a wave or two from that, but he didn't because he, uh, he bought a TP and immediately got back into lane. But nonetheless, it's still a very nice pickoff. Hmm. And what are your thoughts on running the jewel lane up top, throwing Tinky with PKL? Do you think it's wise to throw it up here to help out the Murana against Catch Me If You Can, try and slow him down? Or do you think Tinky should be down with his other first support of Joppy and trying to rotate and make openings around the map? You know, the thing with this is that, sure, maybe, I mean, Tinky can still um, roam. And in fact, considering he's got smokes of the seat, it looks like they will do that. Um, even if he's not sticking like, you know, right next to Joppy. The thing with this is though that Tinky now gets more experience because if they were in the same lane together, you know, the experience is split and whatnot. So this way it does mean he can level up a little bit quicker. Um, I still suspect that the level three or four mark you will see Tinky roaming and then of course once he hits six he he will just move around the map as much as he can. Okay, yeah. he's just trying to push some heroes out a little bit, trying to create a little bit more opening for these well actually I would say Abaddon, not Abaddon, Blair, for well, Bristleback to get a little bit of farm and Bristleback can pick up a little bit of farm and get really tech. Actually, our top lane is going again. Catch me if you can. The arrow will miss. They do not have another impale for a few seconds. He will secure you through him. If that arrow had landed, that was one dead weaver. But that's not going to be the case, and he will be able to secure you on out of there. Yeah, but I mean, keeping doing this to a weaver, you know, keeping you sort of <laughs> always on the defensive, um, stopping you from being last six is really. Mm, speaking of those last hits, he's having 5 for 0. He's got nothing against his name. Run is a level for 3. She's having a ball up here with that little bit of help from that Nyx Assassin. So, you are, you are absolutely correct about the uh, choice to throw uh, the Nyx Assassin up there and go for the dual lands. And it's working out wonders. I mean, Hurt, uh, Hurtsville Rats, they haven't been able to make them pay for only having two heroes down bottom. I mean, you have an Abaddon who who rewards heroes for diving underneath the tower with that shield. You have Bristleback who gets rewarded for the Denied. more damage he takes. And they've just been playing passively. They haven't really been shutting down too much. Doom has got at least something. He's got four last hits. Not where you want to be. He has been held back, but he does rotate into the jungle to devour a creep whenever it is off cooldown. Yeah, and of course Doom does get shut down here a little bit, but at the same time, when you're shutting down the Weaver, I don't think that's a, a bad choice. Um, Speaking of the Weaver, they're going on him, he's in a lot of trouble, he gets hit by the Impale! This is a kill, and it is going to pick him. He'll happily pick that up. And now Weaver, that's the second death of his game. His net worth is just down the charts at the moment. It's not as bad as the Doom, but a Weaver is more reliant on items than a Doom is. I... Do agree with you there. Um, of course, the Weaver can still dish out damage just because the, the Gemini attack it's actually quite nice when you're 
um, trying to pick off heroes and even just harassment. But at the same time, um, you're totally right. It's not she's not as sorry. Uh, Doom's not as reliant on her uh, as her in terms of items, and in fact, Akina might be in trouble. And there's this one power stun, the TP spot coming from Faker. Faker will throw him back, and Tinky's like, I'll, I'll avoid at least two damage and then fall underneath to Akino. But that was a little bit aggressive there, they went too far underneath, and Akino, he'd hit level 6 just previously, so he had that ball of lightning if he needed to escape. Um, I gotta say that. I Actually, feel down like on bottom lane, we have a little bit of initiation. Injo's off. going to Mescal. Mescal's taking a lot. And then Injo, he has to get out of here. He gets shielded. Soul Assumption almost picks him off and then just gets healed up. So, luckily for Injo, he had Illmatric to protect him. Yeah, um, I was just going to say in mid there, I feel like I think he should have backed off the moment he saw the TP incoming. Faker's now rotated back down to bot and. These teams now two for two and a mythical art oh, mescal. And the lift, we got some snot stun stuck up. That's negative two on. It's just gonna keep going up. Some body blocking going on by Ilmatic. He's doing a really, really nice job. That body blocking, and he there was nothing he could do about it. Joppy. He wanted to try and find a return kill. He's not gonna get it, but body blocking for the win. They will pick up a double kill down at bottom lane. Her still hood rats doing really well. Uh, four for two so far in this early phases of the game. It's quite important, particularly since they that Weaver hasn't been doing so well. Um, that the that the other lanes are controlled. I mean, you know, Akina is doing well here in the mid lane. He's seeing at 31 last hits compared to 21 to Dragonite, which is still good for a Dragonite. Um, don't get me wrong, but it's certainly uh, certainly her still are uh, doing a good job of of keeping the game in a good position, despite the fact that Weaver's having a hard time. Speaking of hard time, he's just been such a little help. And Tinky, unfortunately, he's now going to be seen by these creeps. Um, if, catch me if you can, Cam. Just a few footsteps further, that would have been a stun. And actually, the stun comes out. Arrow lands, and that's an instant kill. He didn't see it coming, or he saw it coming at the last second and just poked him in the eye, and he's gone. But that's another very valuable kill coming in the way of Myth Esports taking out that Weaver once again. But the slowed down the Doom Lord. He's decided to go into the jungle to try and find whatever he can because he can't find anything down bottom currently. Bottom's gone missing, just so as you know. Yeah. He's gonna go back to bot eventually, um, particularly since all these creeps are now pushing on the tower just to find an extra farm. The thing is now, uh, Enjoy is sitting here by himself in bottom lane, which does give Mescal a chance to farm up because, you know, no one's gonna jump on him. Certainly a Bristleback's not gonna go Doom and uh, Visage 2v1. Dragon's gonna from be a little bit careful here. There's, it is night time, but there's a ward down, a very nice place to ward by Myth Esports, spotting out Faker on top of this cliff, so... Unfortunately, they think they're hidden under this nighttime vision, but they're well and truly being watched, and they're gonna rotate down bottom. The two heroes down bottom, they know they're coming, so you're not gonna be too surprised, and at the same time, you should see eight at pairs stay a little bit higher to this mid lane, just in case if the two heroes that are rotating come back down and come for them. Yeah, I mean, currently we are seeing that you Doom has been no shut down a little right. bit. Um, he's got 21 last hits, which is still 5 above the Weaver. Um, and they've both died twice, if I'm... yeah, they've both died twice. So, neither of them are really doing overly uh, great here so Bob's far, but I've got to say... Just so as you know. Doom's doing a little bit better, and oh god, I'm like dropping frames again, because I do the open mic and whatnot, so... We'll see if I can do that. And a stun went out of top lane, they weren't able to find that Weaver. Um, apparently my voice is not working in game. Thanks, Dodo. Missing bottom. Great. Bottom's gone missing, just so yeah. you know. Today is just not been a good day for, uh, <laughs> for trying to cast games across the TV and stuff. There's been crashes and just issues and all mid around. they're going against Akino, the stun comes out, the Dragon Breath there, he's got a zip, but there's no far up, Doom is waiting here, he wants his level 6, Faker, he's rotating around, he pings his teammate, support is coming in, and now they pop the Moonlight Shadow, they're going hard, they're going aggressive, we do see Mescal, he's getting picked up, Faker, he's running into a trap, he's got a TP, he's got a shield on him, do they have anything to stop him? They do have a Dragon Tail to cancel that stun, and now they pick up a kill, nice, nice TPs, nice rotations, and... They might even try and go for a mid tower here. Yeah, Storm Spirit has been forced to back off. And Illmatic as well. He's sitting in the mid lane, but he's. He can't do too much. 
um, against Gaius these guys in there with the, with the ulti pop. Uh, this tower is going to be taking quite a lot of damage. Man, we've got a little bit of rotation come from Enjoy. I think he should just go down bottom and forget about that. Stun comes down, Illmatic. There's another stun. He doesn't have bow time. They do burst him down before anything can follow it up. And so they pick up an easy kill in mid lane now. It'll Enjoy's here. They've got TP spot coming from. There's Storm Spirit. Will Storm Spirit spit? There. Will he zip in? He cancels it. He wanted to. He thought about it, but the call called him off. Well, the call was to cancel and just play a little bit defensively. And Marana, she's working towards her drums. If she can get it. Additional movement speed for the side of the Myth Esports. You just want to be able to run from them, especially if you get a drum charge off on that Doom. Doom's just going to be crazy. Yeah, the drum leap is a very a very speedy combo, particularly when you've got a Doom on the side as well with the Scorch Turf. Um, but, uh, you know, this is currently with like, the rotations from Myth. This is given the Weaver being played there by Cashman, if you can, a little bit of space. He's still only on 27 last hits, which isn't great. Um, but at the same time, uh, Pickle can't really shut him down by himself unless he gets a really, really nice arrow. And we now have a Doom Maximum stun up a Doom. Arrow. When will we see him use his first Doom? He picked up Arcane Boots. What do you feel about an Arcane Boots pick up and Doom, right? After we see him get attacked by all these heroes, the sun just slow him down, but he pops a Scourge off and he's already gone, but what do you feel of these Arcane Boots on Doom? I mean, sure he does need a little bit of mana, but do you think other boots, such as possibly a phase for additional move speed and damage, or treads for additional stats, would be more worthwhile? Or you you happy with this arcane boots? And actually, before you answer that, we have Weaver. He's in a lot of trouble up top. They're gonna man fight him. The Vendetta comes out and crunch. Catch me if you can. Falls underneath Tinky's hammer. Yeah, uh, the Doom with Arcane Boots. It's I don't mind it. I mean, it's there's as you said, there's certainly a lot of options for him. Um, and this isn't one that I have too many issues with, personally. Like you said, he does need the mana. Um, I pick up an early arcane boots. It's it's fine for me. Uh, fine in my opinion. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a push coming on mid lane. It is a little bit unusual. Like as you were saying, phase boots would also be nice, particularly because it would get extra damage. Oh, Zip comes on in, doing a little bit of damage, pull back, lands up to two, here's Tinky, he pops his spark carpets, he should be able to get out of there, he's already thrown a stun, so he's no longer useful in this engagement, he will be waiting for the yes. combo, Weaver takes a lot of damage, they stun him, he gets hit by a full 5 second arrow, he's still sitting there, in power lands up to two heroes, enjoy, will he fall, Mesco comes back in, he dooms Akinus, Akinus, Akino takes a lot of damage, he's going to run away, catch me if he can, takes a soul assumption to the face, you are not invisible my son, and now he will go down, and Akino, he's just waiting around, just in case we can get back into this fight, we will see the instant death of Faker on that roof. And a zip come from Akino, dodging that well placed impale, but just not well enough. And they take a mid tier 1 tower. Yeah, uh, I gotta say though that her still who drives, they also took a tower there on the bottom. So in that regard, they evened up, but it really was the kills that made that worthwhile for Myth uh, Esports. And you know, Doom, they didn't pick up Akino there. Despite the Doom, but at the same time, I don't think it mattered too much. Doom looks like he's going for a mechanism, so you know, he's going for a little like mechanism on Doom isn't anything that's you know super new or anything, um, but he certainly is going for a little bit of an unusual style when you combine it with the um, arcane boots. Ah, uh, ah, uh, good old. Dota Sand, once again, our voice, uh, voice in game, apparently. But up at top lane, they're looking at going on. Catch me if you can, catch me if you can. He's a little bit aggressive. Will we see an arrow? Do we have any kind of initiation? He jumps on in. The soul stuff would come down. Unfortunately, the arrow would not be landed in this case, and he will run away. But they do see awards up here down bottom lane. They are going to clear a little bit of vision away from Myth Esports. And this is a really nice thing to do. You are behind, so how do you get back in it? You create openings. You clear the vision on the map, and then start making Myth Esports be afraid of where your positioning is, and look at this, you already have Doom running back home, because he doesn't want to be out any further than he has, and he's wasting XP, he's, I should say, he's losing XP, he's losing gold, and he's just losing valuable time to continue with their lead. Yeah, that's, I definitely agree there, and it's, it's, a, it's pretty dangerous to, to sort of be um, running around when you, you, know, you don't have any vision, He's going to just go into the jungle, 
to find some of that farm. Um, you know, he's going, he didn't go for, you know, pure farm build, like, you know, some Midas or anything. Um, at the same time, though, I still gotta say, he's doing a lot better than the Weaver, who I guess is his counterpart. Um, the Weaver has been shut down so much, a lot of good arrows have landed on him, and shutting down the Weaver is important, because it, Weaver who gets online early is just absolutely devastating. Top lane there, we're gonna go on and Weaver once again, the stun comes out, there's the dragon down, there's the arrow, there's the burst, and there goes the Weaver. So a very nice gank coming around there, and Dragonite, he's going to be working towards a Shadow Blade, so they'll be able to continue doing this to the Weaver the entire time. At the moment, though, they've got space open for him down in the bottom lane. Doom wants to try and do something, but there's four heroes, and they're going to be pushing a Tier 2 tower, which is losing a Weaver that is okay, since the Weaver's not doing too great to start off with. But now, there's TP support coming in. They're going to try and turn this around. Dragon Tower's thrown out. Enjoy, he's taking a lot of damage. He gets the shield back on him. Doom comes out onto Abaddon. Abaddon's going to have to run. The mechanism's in thrown out. Akino's bouncing around trying to find a kill. Counter Doom onto that Dragonite. And now Akino, he does fall. And now the lift is not going to be enough to help enjoy get on out of here. He's going to be on the run, but he should fall shortly after after a stun and a few damage. Shield once again. Still Assumption comes out and kills the Abaddon. Abaddon's still not level 6 yet. He can't use his borrowed time. And now Faker is trying to do whatever he can. He's gone nowhere. And enjoy. He finds himself a return kill. But was it worth it? He's gonna die. Catch him if you can. He might find himself a kill on Mesco. He gets the final auto attack. Will it land? It's still not enough. That Doom's hour, uh, 8 armor is, is OP and will keep him alive. But that is a 4, possibly 5 for 1 trade. Get one in favor of Myth Esports. Yeah, that was actually their entire team that got wiped out there. Um, uh, is, this has just gone really well for Myth. They also picked up the top tier 1 tower. Mirana wasn't in that fight at all. And she did a bit of chip damage to the tier 2. Um, actually, no, she didn't. Never mind. Didn't even get scratched. Completely ignore what I just said. Uh, there is actually a sentry here, which uh, was spotted before. I'm surprised they didn't kill it. it. The creeps ended up killing the sentry that Myth placed. But um, yeah, this is, this is looking good for them. That Doom, he had a little bit of a rough start, but he's should be happy with his position at the moment. Okay, well, we're having a little bit of problems with Dota TV. The voice isn't transmitting. Um, I've changed mine over to push to talk, and people are now saying they can hear me, uh, but they still can't hear you. You've dropped out, like, some time ago in the last five minutes. Ah, uh, okay. So, there will be a little bit of initiation up top lane. Akira gets hit by the arrow, Dragon Tail, and will instantly fall, and then Murana will... Claim he's rightful <laughs> illusion root and Faker will still starfall, so he's got an additional 300 damage on top of his fade bolt, which is 200 damage. All right, so hopefully that has fixed it. I'm. It's actually fixed my frame rate drop because before when I had an open mic, every time I talk I'd like drop frames like crazy, and it was happening to me yesterday as well. It's he's really screwed up these patches, um, but hopefully that fixes the sound. I. I guess we'll just have to see in like two minutes. <laughs> oh, and apparently I'm gone again. Oh, tch, oh, this is Valve. What the hell did you do? <laughs> Honestly. But, um, yeah. anyway, we'll continue on the game with what we can do. So, if you can hear us, hello. Or if you can't, well, hello. Anyway, at the top lane, we have a lot of damage coming down to Weaver. Weaver's just gonna use his magic wand and heal him straight back up because he doesn't have much stats to his name. He's still trying to get that Lincoln Sphere. It's 18 minutes in and all he has is a ring of health. He doesn't even have boots. And that's... that's painful. And, yeah, I mean, like, we spoke about this before, how shutting down the Weaver is really important. He will be able to get his boots now because he has enough money. But Lincoln's uh, three blade this long when there's a Doom on the other side, oh, this is, it's not looking good for the, for, for them. And now yeah, Doom comes out onto the Bristleback, Bristleback's on the run, he's not going to get any of his passive, he's not going to be able to run away from this, and he gets defused out of nowhere, out of the left field, and he will fall shortly after. Now they're going against Bar Abaddon, Abaddon pops his borrowed time, he's going to walk on out of there, but Akino, he's going for the fight, counter Doom, comes onto the Dragonite, and, well, they got no follow, follow up onto that, so they're still going to have to run. And now Faker, he's in on trouble. Familiar's a founder. Dragon 
Tail and the Solo Search. I should say Dragon Breath Fire, whatever it is. Free Fire. Now catch me if you can. What are you doing, man? He just dies. I don't think I've seen a single time lapse for this Weaver this entire game. I still want to admit, um, he got, he got arrowed and then he got healed, and then he ran for a while, took a lot of damage, then time lapsed, and he died. That's basically been his story for today. <laughs> and now Kino, he's in the middle of nowhere, he's taking a lot of damage, and that was a, that was a not a smart move. TP into five heroes and think you can get away with it. There, you're not going to. Myth, they will make you pay, and well, there goes Akino, died a second time, instantly after respawn, and... Oh, well, there goes his what well, outlet there goes his twenty five minute time uh bloodstone timing. Yeah, I gotta say that when this is like the, a lot of these kills are due to the power of a visage. You see a lot of for example, Akina, he should be able to escape pretty much any situation with four lightning, same with Weaver. But the problem is that the burst from Mythical is so powerful. You land one stun, and there's immediately something else to follow up with, and then there's a soul assumption, and you're dead. Like, there's, you don't have enough time to react to all the damage that's coming out. It's, it's, and also the stuns, I should say, you know, you've got three stuns that are, you've got two of them which are single target, and you've got the Nyx Assassin one which is, um, you know, in a line. So, it, this lineup from Myth, it's, it's a little wonders for them. And speaking of doing wonders, they're going to be rotating up. They're looking for catch me if you can again. He's one for eight. He's about to come. One for nine. There goes the Impaler. Didn't even need to use the Vendetta and crunch. More than enough stun timing there. Great cooperation. Great work to be able to time and line up those stuns. And know how much damage they were able to pull off onto a very, very short to win. Yeah, um, changing your stuns is one of the most beneficial way or one of the easiest ways to kill a weaver early on um, just because if like I, we were saying earlier how a weaver had a lot of uh, the, the biggest problem was the low health sure you've got the time lapse but if you can't actually cast anything because you're stunned it doesn't matter um, and chain and like I said you know chaining those stuns is the most effective way to, to kill her early on now we have a little bit of a fight underneath the tier 2 tower Fadebolt comes through to try and slow down a push back these heroes make them reduce a little bit of attack damage, but they don't care. They're walking straight back underneath this tower. I'm going to continue hammering it down. We'll have the final rotations. It's going to be a 5v5. Actually, 5v4. Doom's not in the fight. Will they have enough? This arrow did land, but an instant shield breaking him out of there. So he will get out of there without too much hassle. But a 4v5, I'm a little bit surprised I didn't want to take it. Doom was nowhere in sight. And that's your mechanism gone. There's your arcane boots gone. And there's the all-important Doom not there to help out. So, a little bit surprised I didn't want to try and take that fight. Well, And Tinky, he know, found himself Doom a kill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. I mean, a very nice killer for Tinky. And he's actually going to pick up a Dagon. Oh, that's awesome. Um... But yeah, I mean, with the Doom there, Mythical certainly didn't want to fight, and Hurtsville were a little bit worried just because, you know, they, the whole side of Mythical, they, you know, those ultis popped, for example, for Dragonite, for example, um, and I don't know if they had their Weaver at the time, I know Weaver died, but I'm not sure if she was back by then, and they're just going to go for a tier 2 now. Now they're walking towards right the tier 2. As you said, Zip comes out by Akina to make sure he doesn't get killed. That Doom, if that came out, then he would have been one very stranded hero in the middle of nowhere. And they're going to continue walking. Weaver, you've got to be in a lot safer and more defensive than what you currently are. The power does not get denied. Enjoy did go for it and not manage to be able to find it. These heroes, they're going to have to be forced back once again. They've lost their second tier 2, they're about to lose their third tier 2, and now they've got zero map position left on this map, and Myth, they're going to just continue walking all over Hertzville routes. Yeah, well, first they're going to go for a, uh, for a Shan. And this, the, the thing is, we saw yesterday they don't have any wards up to sort of spot if the uh, Hurts are going to test this, but if they did and Hurts really try to, um, you can just prop a Marana ulti and then sort of basically gank him. Um, we saw, I don't even remember who it was, it was yesterday and it was really, really awesome. Uh, nice try Aikino, <laughs> he got stuck by trees. Came a little bit late, he wanted to get that Revenant off to see that vision, but it just, he wasn't mm. there in time. A little bit unfortunate for him. 
That a snatch of that token there could have helped him out massively in the next fight. I mean, they aren't always in fights ridiculously harshly. They're just not playing into their fullest standards. I mean, they've had fights where they've almost come out on top, and yet they've all been low. But then that mechanism picked up by Doom is just helping them keep it all up. Hurts, uh, hurts Phil. They need to get their mech timed. I mean, they do have one up on Enjoy, but. I'm not sure if it's been hitting every hero that's absolutely required it, so they haven't been able to sustain in these fights. And as I said at the start, Myth Esports, they had the team that can sustain. Hertzville, they had their side that can sustain, but Myth, they've been sustaining better, so they're coming out on top. Yeah, it's a little bit like that, but at the same time, it's some good players from Mythical which have stopped or shut down all that sustainability. You know, the Doom being cast on heroes like Abaddon, um, Oh, just the Weaver getting picked off thanks to the, the chain stuns and stuff like that, which is really what you want to be doing um, with this sort of lineup. And there we have, we're back underway from a very short pause for a very brief moment. And Dragonite, he's still continuing to farm up top. He's got a BKB, it is 10 seconds. He's ready, he's willing to fight the next game. And now he's got a BKB. Storm's for can't do anything. Abaddon won't be doing much either. Sentry's gone down there, found Tiki. Tiki, you're in a lot of trouble. Will he be able to get out? He carapaces, he hits four people. And he's gonna try and get out in power comes through. He's still being hit. We like shadows coming down, but they're still underneath the Sentry. In the back lines though, Dragon Knight is ripping up all the heroes. There's two heroes down. Visage, Familiar, Stone 1, Stone 2, GG's Accord, and Myth Esports. They take a commanding win in the group stages of Defense of the Australians Summer 2014. Radium to victory. Yeah, very convincing win, uh, win there for them. I'd just like to say thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I've been Zellerf, and I've been joined by Dodo Yoshi. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash Zellerf, and on Twitter it's Zellerf Dota. You can follow Dodo Yoshi at youtube.com slash Dodo Yoshi and Dodo Yoshi on Twitter. Thank you guys very much for watching. There is a lot more action coming up. We're basically going to be casting till like 11pm tonight. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be back with more games very shortly.